to Suchita's interactive class. Today, we will see one of the uh, practical which is determination of value of gas constant R using idiometry. This is an online practical demonstration with little bit animation. We all know that gas is a state, one of the state of matter. Okay, if you look at the properties of the gas, it neither has a fixed shape nor as a volume. Now, if I pre, uh, if I keep the gas in container, it exerts a pressure on the walls of the container. They are compressible, like a balloon. They are compressible. They have low density and diffuse rapidly and mix with other gases. The, these are the properties of the gases. Now. When we measure the properties of the gases, we can describe quantitative, if you want to describe quantitatively the gas in number of different properties like pressure, volume, temperature and mole quantity. Now the relationship between these properties are well explained by number of laws like Charles law, Boyle's law, Avogadro's law or the combined law. Now we will see how it is possible for us to find out the value of R. The ideal gas equation. What is the ideal gas equation? Yes, PV equal to nRT. Now, this is a combined Boyle's and Charles law, Avogadro's law together, where PV equal to nRT. P is the pressure in atmosphere, V is the volume in liter, N is the number of moles of gas, R is the gas constant, which usually prescribe the value at 0 0.082. Here, I have not described you the uh, um, unit we'll see in detail and t is the temperature in kelvin now now how it is possible for me to find out the value of r now there are different methods which are prescribed uh, to find out the value of r with respect to the determination of gas constant now the hydrogen displacement method oxide method chloride method and by calculation now we are going to look into hydrogen displacement method today to find out the value of R. Now hydrogen displacement method is convenient as metals are reactive than hydrogen. Metal displaces hydrogen in strong acid dilute solution of strong acid. Now what we are going to do we are going to take little amount of concentrated acid along with the distilled water so it will be a solution of dilute solution of strong acid and if I place a metal in contact with it, it will react with the acid. Now can you tell me what are the different products will be formed? It will be yes, metal chloride if it is hydrogen chloride as an acid, metal sulphate if it is hydrogen sulphate as an acid or sulfuric acid along with the release of hydrogen. Okay. So, we are going to utilize over here one of the apparatus that is idiometer. It is a long cylindrical tube which is graduated. Graduated means markings are there over the tube which are useful to measure the volume okay, or the volume of displaced gas, released gas in a closed tube. One end of the tube is closed, other end is open. This is a long cylindrical idiometric tube. I will show you very soon the picture of that. The release or displaced gas which will be collected and it will be useful for us to find out the value of R by performing this particular experiment. Now if you know the quantity or the amount of metal taken initially, we can relate the metal with respect to release of hydrogen that is the number of moles of hydrogen. So, so stoichiometrically it is possible for us to find out the volume of gas release. Now what we have to do, we have to take in this particular experiment, uh, we have to take the metal wire, we are going to take here the magnesium metal. If we keep for longer time in a lab, it produces magnesium oxide. So you have to polish the surface, so it will become active. So you need a clean, clear polished surface you can do with the sandpaper and weigh in a range of the range has been prescribed over here as 0.035 grams to 0.045 grams. In this particular range, you just take the uh, weight of the metal on a uh, balance, digital balance. Now uh, note down this weight in your notebook, take the ideometer, clean it well, wash it well, okay. Then 
you have to take let me show this is the magnesium metal you have to take this ideometer i have tried to show over here this is open end this is closed end what do you have to take you have to take concentrated acid 5 to 10 ml put the concentrated acid in a ideometric tube then dilute that solution with water till the tip of ideometer you have to check out that the water has been placed inside the ideometer along with the acid at the tip of the ideometer okay now once you put this water along with the uh, acid in the particular ideometer this is long cylindrical glass tube with the markings okay so you can able to measure the volume released volume so once this is filled you have to put thumb over here and tilt it you can see the thumb is downstairs you have tilted the ideometer what will happen when you tilt the ideometer the solution will get mixed with the water and uniformly you can see the waves actually as it mixes you can see the movement of the acid with the water and it will become a dilute solution of acid this is an ideometer which is ready to place attach with the stand now when you are placing and attaching with the stand you have to take precaution that the stand has been uh, previously prepared now previously prepared with respect to the um, porcelain dish okay you have to put here a porcelain dish with little amount of water you can't fill the uh, porcelain dish completely if you fill the exertion of the pressure of the release gas uh, which will uh, not give you the correct measurement so always half filled porcelain dish will be utilized over here you have to place this ideometer with the stand we'll see how it is possible okay this is the acid which you are taking in the measuring cylinder and then you are pouring this in ideometer filled with it and ideometer has been placed now while placing the ideometer to the stand while placing the ideometer to the stand you have to put thumb over the ideometer you have to press completely closed it without air bubble just tilt it and release your thumb inside the water and attach your ideometer to the stand so that there should be no air bubble inside it because our experiment is we are going to measure the volume of gas release so there should be no air bubble try to do this once or twice you will definitely will develop your skill to attach the ideometer to the stand once you attach the ideometer to the stand what you have to take you have to take a polished metal mg metal which is pre wed the weight is known to you and you have to roll it little bit and insert it inside the ideometer while inserting that uh, metal inside the ideometer you have to take precaution that there should be no more air bubble will go inside the ideometer we'll see yes this is these are some uh, procedure points uh, which are very useful for you to follow actually the experiment will you do uh, these are the uh, few points that there should be no air bubble wet for some time so that the temperature of the acid when it release the h2 gas the reaction has been happened while uh, releasing the h2 gas the temperature should get stabilized wait for some time tap outside the ideometer so that all air bubbles will get release at the top of the water which is there inside the ideometer and you will get correct volume of hydrogen gas as well as height of the column or height of the ideometer which is measured as h centimeter and volume in ml yes this particular animation will clearly uh, indicate you here how it, the metal reacts with the acid and how it goes from down to upside while reacting okay here a little bit exaggeration i have shown you the bigger size of metal piece but if you look at the uh, weight which i have shown it is very small you have to roll it well and press inside put it inside the ideometer you have to just release the uh, clamp on the ideometer and through the water you have to insert it as soon as you insert the metal piece it will react and the air bubbles that is the release of hydrogen gas will cre create an empty space inside the ideometer and that is nothing but your volume of release h2 gas which you are going to measure in ml and this is the height of the ideometer from the tip of the water which is there in the porcelain dish 
that will be useful for you to do the further calculations. Here usually you can use a long scale which is available uh, in lab you can use with the scale you can measure the volume of it is actually the long cylindrical tube. You have to report the data in your observation table as weight of metal piece, volume of liberated gas in centimeter cube or ml, height of the solution in the ideometer that is the height from the water level uh, uh, outside the porcelain dish and inside the ideometer. Room temperature you have to note down because according to room temperature you have to take the barometric pressure and aqueous tension. Uh, the room temperature you have to convert it into Kelvin. So, here I have prescribed few values which are noted in red color mark. This range you can choose the value of your choice you can put and you can utilize those values as your observations and you can able to do the calculations for the mm, gas constant by taking these values. You can I have given here, here a range 0 0.035 to 0 0.040. So, you can choose any of the values as your uh, weight ok volume released volume height of the solution in the videometer temperature you take as it is and you can do the calculations to measure and find out the value of R. We will look into further the calculations. First point is the determination of pressure of dry, dry hydrogen that is we have to find out the dry hydrogen gas pressure which is possible for us to calculate by knowing the barometric pressure and the aqueous tension pressure at H2O. So, if I substitute these values of barometric pressure and this value will get by knowing the temperature I have given further a table which gives you temperature and aqueous tension and pressure uh, pressure in mm of Hg that table has been given to you. So, that will be very useful for you by knowing the temperature room temperature you can put this easily the value of pH2O H that is the height of the solution in the ideometer divided by 13.6. So, you can be able to find a pressure of dry hydrogen then you have to go for finding out the mass of liberated hydrogen gas. Now, how it is possible for me to find out? I know the reaction which is happening inside the ideometer that Mg reacts with the HCl and forms MgCl2 plus release of H2 gas. So, 1 mole of Mg corresponds to 1 mole of hydrogen. This relation is stoichiometric relation is known to me. If I substitute the values in uh, with the number of moles of Mg, I can find out easily the number of hydrogen that is the weight of Mg taken W that value I told you to find you can choose from here any value and you can go for here the calculation. So, you can easily find out the mass of liberated hydrogen gas in terms of grams. So, these two steps you have clearly understood we will go further for actually here I have given you the some expected value so that you can correlate and confirm that your calculations are correct. Here the first value of R as a molar gas constant in terms of liter atmosphere per Kelvin per mole. So, we have to find out the value of R in terms of liter atmosphere per Kelvin per mole. So, according to ideal gas equation that is PV equal to nRT if I rearrange the equation I will get PV upon NT PV that is the pressure of dry hydrogen we have just calculated in our first step R we are going to calculate ok. Uh, that value of P in centimeter we have to convert it into atmosphere over here. How it is possible? Centimeter to atmosphere 1 upon 76. So, whatever value you have got in uh, centimeters you can convert by dividing just by 76 into atmosphere. V the volume of hydrogen gas release inside the ideometer that V is known to you mass of liberated hydrogen gas that we have cal calculated just now before this slide in step B. Okay, that you can put over here and you can put the molecular weight of mg and find out the value of r in liter atmosphere per kelvin per mole. The expected value I have given over here which will be very useful for you to uh, know whether you are getting uh, in a range the value of r with respect to this particular unit. Yes. While calculating the value of R as a mole con constant in terms of cc atmosphere per Kelvin per mole, again we have to take into consideration that we are doing this conversion of P upon 76 to obtain the value of P in terms of atmosphere. We are going to utilize the equation as R equal to 2 into P 
into V divided by 76 into MT where you can able to calculate the value of R into CC atmosphere per Kelvin per mole. Now to calculate the molar gas constant in terms of ergs per Kelvin per mole what we have to take uh, precaution that value of R in terms of ergs where pressure of dry hydrogen must be in dynes per square centimeter. We have to convert pressure in dynes per square centimeter volume in cubic centimeter ml or cubic centimeter. So, how to convert the pressure of dry hydrogen in dynes per uh, uh, centimeter square we will see in detail. Now, pressure of dry hydrogen in centimeter is there with you. You know the density of mercury in gram per centimeter cube put that value that is given to you multiply by acceleration gravity in centimeter per second square. This value is also provided to you pressure of dry hydrogen in centimeter multiply by density and acceleration you can get the value of pressure of dry hydrogen in terms of dynes per square centimeter. Now, put this value in your equation in R equal to 2 into PV divided by MT into centimeter MT into 76 you will get the value of R in ohms per Kelvin per mole. Check out your answer with the expected value. Yes. To obtain the value of R in joules per Kelvin per mole, we have to remember the equation that when we are converting Earths into joule, we have to convert, we have to take into relation 1 into 10 to the power 7 Earths equal to 1 joule. So, just divide the value of Earths per Kelvin per mole by the value 1 into 10 to the power 7. So, you will get R in terms of joule per Kelvin per mole. Here I have given you the expected value or the range. The value of R in calories per Kelvin per mole, you have to convert, you have to take into consideration the relation 4.184 joules equal to 1 calorie. So, divide the value of R in joules per Kelvin per mole by the value of 4.184, you will get the molar co gas constant R in terms of calories per Kelvin per mole. So, this is all about the values of R in different units we have done. Now, if you want to know the error in your calculation with respect to the expected or actual or theoretical values, what you have to do, how you will calculate the error in R, you have to know, you have to whatever the calculator molar ga ga gas constant, these values are there with you. I will provide the actual molar gas constant values and you will find out the percent error with respect to your R values by following this equation. This is the table which you need to follow when you are interested in finding out the vapor pressure in mm of Hg with respect to the room temperature. So, we have taken this value that is at 27, this is the vapor pressure in mm of Hg. Yes, this uh, particular result table which will be very useful for you with the units of the R values, the expected values are provided over here and whatever the calculated values you will get by choosing the range of the observation table. In observation table I have given you the range with respect to the value of different values which you needed for your calculation. So, you can find out the error with respect to this table and you can report your data with respect to calculation of molar gas constant. You can report your data with respect to the calculation of molar gas constant. Yes. These are some other different units which I have provided here with the different uh, units of the R and their values. This is a small assignment based on this particular experiment that is determination of gas constant. Uh, these are the few questions I have quoted here. You will definitely answer these questions by grasping the knowledge which I have just now shared with you. Thank you.